superstars, one of the most decorated superstars, and still world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. All right, Seth, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on retaining your title tonight. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Just a little adjustment there. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right. First question. All right, Del Tefic, Mal Online. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations, first of all, but how does it feel to bring so much prestige to a title that's still relatively new to the company? Yeah, man. I mean, every single time we're out there defending this World Heavyweight Championship, we're building it up. You know, we knew from day one that that was going to be the goal. You look at what Roman's done for the Universal title. It's very special. There's no comparison. We are working every single day, whether it's here tonight, whether it's Newcastle, whether it's Sheffield, doesn't matter where we go, what we're doing, this title is going to be on the line anytime I can defend it. And that's part of raising that prestige. Very old school in that way, you know, very Ric Flair, very Bret Hart, very Triple H. And so, um, you know, that's that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, by hook or by crook, man, I'm going to fight, leave it all out there and, and, and do my best. Right. Thank you. Hey, Seth, Expressions Ooze and Barstool Sports. I was just wondering, how did the whole of the United Kingdom's tears tasted after you beat Bala, obviously, in his hometown? Because he was, there was a big supporter of him. How did the United well, Kingdom uh, tears taste? It's, it's not quite his hometown, you know. He's Island's a lot further than... Yeah, he's from he's from across the pond a, lot a little than, bit. Yeah, a bit closer. But you know what? I felt a lot of love out there tonight. I'll be honest with you, man. They were singing. They're probably singing in the streets right now. <laughs> uh, they were singing before I got out there. So, I, you know, I, I didn't really notice that, to be honest with you. Finn didn't really give me a chance to pay much attention to what was going on outside the ring. He... Uh, I mean, I'll put it to you bluntly. He beat the hell out of me in there tonight. He brought the fight. Seven and a half years of pent up frustration. He brought every single second of it. And so, um, I, I love a crowd that cheers for who they want to see win. And we got both sides of that tonight. But like I said, man, I was just feeling the love out there. I thought everybody was singing my song. I don't know. I heard it was a, there was like an, Oh, Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah. So it was a good time. It was a good time for me out there. Great. All right. We have a guy right back here. I said that Joe Biamonte from Sporth. Um, you recently spent some time down in NXT against Bron Breaker. Is there anyone else down there you fancy stepping in the ring with next? Oh, man. I would be remiss to not mention the NXT champion himself, Mr. Carmelo Hayes. I think he's super talented. Um, I would love to get in the ring with him. I think our styles would mesh really well. Um, I mean, and there's just, you know, a ton of cats down there. If I, if, if I don't say Nathan yeah. Fraser, he's going to beat me up, you know, yeah, he's going to give me hell. Hey, mate, why didn't you give me, give me a rub? Um, you know, he's coming a long way. You know, he just had a fantastic match with Dragon Lee, uh, recently on NXT. Um, I mean, there's a lot of up and coming talent down there. Carmelo's the one that jumps off the page to me, though. Great. All right. Last question for Seth. Uh, Will Gavin talk sport. You're a man who knows what it is to wait a minute. Yeah. You told me that you didn't have any media obligations today, that you were just going to drink beer and party all day. And here we are at a media press conference. Did you, did you get roped into this? How did this happen? It doesn't mean I haven't been drinking all day. That's <laughs> why it sounds like this, but let's ignore that. Uh, you're a man who knows what it is to cash in money in the bank. So talk to us a bit about the threat of Damien potentially on you and your title. Yeah, man. I mean, that was, I've done it. I've done it on the grandest stage in the biggest way. And so I understand. I knew the moment Damien Priest won that ladder match tonight, there was a chance that he was going to stick his nose on our business tonight. And he did. Fortunately, I was uh, prepared for it for the most part. Um, didn't seem like Finn was, though. So very interesting in that regard. But yeah, man, I mean, that uh, that contract changes people's lives. So it changed mine. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here holding this title, talking to you fine folks, um, doing the show if it wasn't for that that cash in. And so um, Damien Priest has an opportunity to change his life. I just hope he doesn't do it at my expense. <laughs> All right, Seth, thank you so much and congratulations. Congratulations.